Oh, <laughs> that's a great fish. <laughs> it's another uh, another four pounder. That's gotta be five. <laughs> Crushed it. <laughs> yes, yes, baby. Look at that. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Monster Bass Channel. Today we're talking about a specific lure and technique that is going to help you catch fish on those days that are extremely tough days. And I'll explain what a tough day is, in my opinion, in just a moment. I'll also tell you what lure it is in just a moment. And yes, every catch that you, that you saw in the intro leading up to this video or leading into this video was on this particular lure. But first, I want to introduce myself. My name is Jeremy Francis. I run the channel Fishing the Lone Star. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, yes, even on TikTok, and also here on YouTube. Hopefully it'll be linked below, but if not, check out Fishing the Lone Star. All right, guys, let's talk about the lure that I believe is going to help you catch a lot of fish on very tough days. We're gonna talk about the equipment that I use for it that I believe helps uh, in a couple different ways. We'll talk about the specific lure itself and, and qualities or characteristics to look for in this soft plastic that will actually accelerate your bites and your hookup ratios and landing more fish. And then we'll talk about one big enhancement that you can make as well to help you get some really big fish certain times of the year. And the lure that I'm referring to is the shaky head. Yes, the shaky head. This is a six inch worm. I'll come back to the soft plastic in a minute, but I like to throw this on a 3 16th ounce to a quarter ounce uh, jig head. Uh, again, I'll come back to that in just a moment, but let's talk about the uh, the equipment and the gear that I use to fish the shaky head, all right? And again, it's 3 16th to a quarter ounce. Really, I'll step up to a quarter ounce if it's windy. Otherwise, I'm throwing a 3 16th ounce. And the gear that I like to use, first of all, the gear ratio reel is somewhere between around the 7.5 to 1 gear ratio. Really doesn't matter because you're not moving the the worm itself you're not moving it with your reel you're just going to move it with your rod and as i'm explaining some of this i want to show some on the water footage as well so you're going to see some catches some footage etc that i'll overlay into this video but you're going to move the worm with your rod kind of hop it or drag it along bottom or just dead stick it letting it sit there is going to be highly effective if you're using one particular type of plastic again i'll come to that and bullet point number two. But still on bullet point number one, the real 7.5 to 1 gear ratio, or even faster, you can go faster, you can go slower as well. Uh, but 7.5 to 1 is about what you want. Uh, I also use a medium heavy rod, but I will tell you this particular medium heavy rod has a lot of tip. You see how there's a lot of bend here? So it actually it's probably a little bit more of a medium uh, power. Um, but a medium heavy will work fine. If you're gonna be throwing lighter, like 3 16th or even like a 1 8 ounce, I would even go with a medium power. Fast action's fine, but a medium power rod. It's just gonna allow you to get more casting distance on your cast because you're gonna have more uh, of a parabolic bend in your back swing to help launch the cast forward on your lighter lures. The line that I like to use is 14 pound fluorocarbon. That's just what I use here in Texas. If you're fishing clear waters, I would maybe go to like a 10 or 12. Just know you really aren't gonna be able to really jack them with that type of line. But 14 pound is usually what I use with the exception of the third bolt point I'm gonna get to in a minute. So stay tuned for that. The reel itself, all right, this is the Lose Custom Light. This is a pretty new reel for me. I really like it because it's light, as the name implies. But be, because it's light and it's meant to cast lighter lures, whether it be a weightless soft plastic or any type of shaky head, Nico rig, things like that, this reel works really well. But previously, before upgrading to this one, I did use the Luz LFS. So this is just a standard $100 Luz reel, aluminum frame. This also worked really well. Um, this actually is what I just took 
off of this combo. Um, so Lose LFS works really well. I prefer the custom white. I can just cast a little bit further with it. It's a little bit lighter in hand. So it depends on if I'm gonna be using this a lot in a particular day. Uh, I'm probably gonna go with the Lose custom white, but the LFS is a great reel as well. All right, let's talk about the soft plastic. All right, now this particular soft plastic is called the MB for muscle back, but MB Fat Finesse Worm by Exxon Lures. And let me show you the jig head that I have here. I'm just gonna take this off. And uh, what you'll see here with the jig head is just a screw lock here with a standard, actually this is a tungsten, but you can throw lead as well. It's just tungsten allows you to go a little bit of a smaller head. But uh, pretty compact head design. This is a 1 4th ounce. Again, I like to throw a 3 16th ounce as well. But one thing about the screw lock is you're literally just going to take your soft plastic, just stick it right in the middle, just screw that right in. Helps if I do it actually holding it this way to get it started. Okay, so you're just going to screw that right into your soft plastic, really until the soft plastic comes up to the head, right about there. I like to lay my hook across to see about where it's gonna go in. And I'm just gonna almost kind of just bury that hook right into the plastic. You'll notice it doesn't even come out. Uh, obviously, unless I push on it, uh, it doesn't come out. That's so I can stay extremely weedless as I'm dragging this along bottom. But one thing that I really like, okay, one thing that you really wanna look for in your shaky head worms, I'm telling you, this is gonna get you more bites, is you want a worm that has very little to no salt in it and is going to float just like this, all right? So when this shaky head hits bottom, if I dead stick it, which means I don't move it at all, this tail is going to float up. It's not gonna fall down and just lay on bottom. A worm with a lot of salt will do that. Instead, this worm is actually going to stand up, just like this, all right? So the MB Fat Finesse Worm Bag Zone allows that worm to float, or it's a floating worm. The Airtel Wiggler by Grande Bass Fishing that came in a recent Monster Bass Box does the exact same thing because it has air in the tail. So either one of those, I would recommend that you can use as a good shaky head worm that is going to stand up just like this on the bottom. And I promise you, it's gonna help you get a lot of bites. Now, almost every fish that you've seen me catch so far in this video, the highlight clips, etc., have come on this exact color, which is a plum color. It works extremely well. It's like a darker red with some blue flake. Whether you're fishing colder temps, warmer temps, normal water temps doesn't really matter something about that red and that blue flake just really gets fish to bite in some of the toughest conditions now what i consider to be tough conditions is when the barometric pressure is rising you've got a very high sun meaning there's little to no clouds maybe there's some extreme temperatures where it would be really hot really cold or just a crummy day and fish aren't biting slow down throw the shaky head throw it around hard bottom or around timber and you should be able to catch some fish and get a lot of bites and it should work really well for you. All right, now I mentioned one really big upgrade that you can use in certain times and certain conditions to catch even bigger fish, and that is going to a magnum worm, all right? Now this is an eight and a half inch worm. Again, no salt, all right? So it's going to float, even eight and a half inches, it's going to float and stand up. This particular worm is made by Smash Tech, Custom Baits, it's actually a company based out of Texas. I really like their worms, but several other companies make worms that are similar, all right? Uh, Zoom makes one, Strike King makes one. Um, and then speaking of Strike King, what I like to use with this big worm is going to be your Tour Grade Magnum Jig Head, all right? Now this will come in several different sizes, both in hook size and weight size, but this is a seven aught hook and a half ounce head, all right? Now that looks ginormous. I get it, I understand. It may seem like it's a little daunting, but when you pair these two together, all right, when that goes in there and the hook comes in here, you'll see that it actually gives you a good amount of bite, if you will, where that worm can still slide down and you got a big hook that can still penetrate fish. So again, this is a seven aught half ounce, they make a 3 8 ounce and a 5 aught, uh, several different combinations of hook size and weight size. But in the really hot summer months or sometimes just when 
you feel like there's big fish around, you need that big bite, say you're tournament fishing, that eight and a half inch worm, uh, again, other companies make one as well, the bull worm, uh, I believe by Strike King as well. Uh, it just, it helps draw in bigger bites, bigger fish, etc. Now, obviously, if you're upgrading to the bigger hook, you're gonna wanna upgrade your line. This is where I go to 20 pound fluorocarbon. I'll also throw in a heavy to extra heavy rod. It gives me a little bit more power on the hook sets. So something to consider if you're stepping up to the bigger hook, but just to kind of show you the size comparison between these two, um, I, I'm laughing because there's really not a size comparison. Um, like they don't really compare at all. But there's your differences of worm size. And then here's your difference in hook size. All right. So this is what I throw probably 90% of the time, a six inch worm on a 3 16th to a half ounce weight. But there are times that I will step up to the bigger worm and it works. You get a lot of big bites. All right, guys, so that's it. When you need bites, when the, when the day's just tough, high barometric pressure, maybe post front conditions, high sun, it's just you know those tough days, break out the shaky head, and I think you'll have a lot of success. Use the right equipment and the gear for it, and you'll have some good hookup ratios, and I promise you'll catch some good fish. Make sure you stay tuned right here to the Monster Bass YouTube channel where we're going to provide you lots of great tips and videos to help you make the most out of your time on the water and to help you fish better. Monster Bass, go catch one.